Hi guys, it's Ray. Uh, this is my book mold trinket box. Uh, it's turned inside out currently that I've had for months and months and months that I've been, I don't know why I've been putting off pouring it because I was really excited to get this and I just haven't gotten around to it. But Marva poured hers for her video that she put up. And I was like, okay, I have to do mine. Like, I've had so many ideas for these, and I've just been putting it off. So, now's the time. Marva did hers with gold for the book pages. Um, she did gold. Um, yep. Gold mica. I'm going to do gold leaf. No, silver leaf. Maybe. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. I kind of want to do a teal book, so I think I'm going to go with silver. Um, I'm going to put the top and stuff aside. And if you've ever worked with the flakes, you know or sheets, you know it makes a mess. So I'm going to kind of put down some paper to try and catch some of it. So I have all of these sheets. This is all gold and I don't want to use gold and I don't want to use flakes. So I'm hoping that I have a silver. I do. Okay. So, I'm going to try to get these to lay as flat and intact as possible the first go around. So I'm actually going to cut it into thirds to start. This is two. Because um, I want to try and minimize how much I'm going to have to try and clean off of any given spot. And this will immediately stick to any part of the silicone it touches. So I have a fairly stiff brush and I'm not sure it's going to quite get into all of the nooks and crannies. This brush is terrible. Um, but I'm not going to be too concerned if it's not perfect. Oh, that's what I didn't want to do. Because anything I do that to, I'm going to have to try and get this back off the mold. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm not sure if tape or a baby wipe will get it off. I have to make sure I get all these bristles off too.
Okay, so I'm gonna see if tape will peel that back off. Otherwise, I'm gonna try baby wipe and scrubbing. Tape will work, it's just gonna be tedious and long, so. Because I do want this to be as, um, as clean as I can get it, let's say. So let's try a wipe. tape is going to be the way to go. So I'm going to work on cleaning this up and uh, I'm not going to watch, make you watch that whole process and then I'll be back. Okay, so my epoxy is now mixed. I got this cleaned up as good as I can. It's not perfect. This is for me, so it's okay. I'm going to use a mica powder from this set. Um, I will try and link that in the description below as well. I was going to do like a teal, but I decided I wanted it to be more vintage -y, So I'm going to go with the royal blue from that set. And I'm going to do sapphire blue alcohol ink from Pinata. So. I mixed up eight ounces of epoxy. That is what Marva had initially mixed she came up a tiny bit short, but she had spilled maybe a half ounce out of her cup. Her cup had a crack in it, so hopefully the eight ounces will get there. I'm adding the alcohol ink because it, the alcohol will help the mica blend better. Um, but it'll also help with any bubbles. So typically when I'm doing something like this with micas, I'm going to use alcohol as well. And I need a little spoon. This one's a baby one. I wanted a dark blue, not quite to navy, but dark. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put this away. I'm being silly. I'm getting ready to level this with a, um, you know, a bunch of popsicle sticks as I do. And I like to store these pots upside down in this box so I can see the color when I open it. I forgot my mom sent me a leveling table, which is probably going to be nowhere near level. Actually, that is pretty good sitting right there. So, we're going to work on that. All right. Let's just go ahead and pour this. I am a little bit nervous about um, bubbles. I'm actually going to, not so much on this, on this. So I'm going to go ahead and take a mini mister and kind of lightly spray and then pour it. And I'm going to 
pour a little bit and let it like settle in and then go back to it. about bang on perfect to the eight ounces. Oops. I'm not gonna put this in my tumbler drying machine. Um, I'm just gonna let it dry on the table overnight because it's too late for me to finish it tonight anyways. Um, but I was gonna originally decorate this book as part of this video, but um, I'm spraying it with alcohol just to pop those surface bubbles. Um, I was going to use some washi tape from the washi tape shop, but I don't really think I have what I want for this one. Like this would be pretty on there, but I do have a bunch of new washies coming from them that'll be here next week. So if there's something in that batch that suits my fancy for this, I will do that. I mean, these would look really cute on it too, but. Um, yeah, so sometime next week, or maybe this week by the time this video goes up, I'll have new washi tapes. Okay, I am going to go ahead and unmold this, and we'll see how it came out. I'm going to do the lid first. One little tiny bubble and bit of flash right here. That's it. There's our cover. And there's our book. See, it's all in there. I could have cleaned up this edge a little bit more. But not bad. Let's see if the little fit fits perfect and the mold is pretty much cleaned of the silver so I think it's adorable I'm gonna figure out something to do on the lid of this one um, I don't know maybe not like I said I want to wait for the other I want to wait for my other washing tapes to get here, I think. So, there you go. Eight ounces of epoxy is perfect, and that's it. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.